Good afternoon. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you're here, let me know. Thanks for joining in. It's Monday, January 11th, the second Monday of January. Okay. It, it just says no. I'm live now. I guess I need to wait about 30 seconds after I press that button. So anyway, welcome. And um, thanks for joining in. I'm looking at a connection on my iPad and it, oh, it just turned blue. So that means I've got a good connection. I was afraid there it wasn't going to be working right. Hey, hi there, LJ. Thanks for coming in. Um, so we've got a blue signal up there. It says I'm live, and so I'm going to get started. Okay, so thanks for joining in. Uh, this is Pat Mayer coming to you from Ohio, Akron, Ohio, in the United States. And um, we're going to go to the beach today. So uh, let me get a sip of my coffee. That's what I need. And turn the camera around and move on. So, I am so excited to share all of this with you today. I have been like a little shimmering fool um, making this card or these cards. And um, let's start first of all by showing the catalogs, which up until this time, a week ago today, I couldn't show you the inside of these, but now we can. The celebration and mini catalog went live a week ago tomorrow on the 5th and prior to that we couldn't show the inside but now we can and it is just chock full of lots of things the mini stamp and emboss uh, machine is now available and it cuts things about three maybe a little over three inches so a lot of our dies work with that the catalog will say which ones are designed for that, but you can just take small dies from um, larger uh, die sets too. So I'm just gonna whip through this kind of quickly and get to the one that I'm going to showcase today, which is the Sand and Sea suite of products. And um, it's just, it's beautiful. I don't know that I'm a beach person. I don't live near a beach, but something really drew me to this whole thing. Maybe it's the colors, the soft colors that are here, and it's it's just it's stunning. Um, so let me show you what's in that suite. Um, of course, there is a stamp set and dies. So this bundle, just this is 10% off. And then if you want the whole suite, which is $92, you get the bundle and these cute little pearlized stickers. Pearl is kind of the way to go this, with this suite. Um, these opal rounds that are just wonderful. <clears throat> Excuse me, they'll look great on any of your projects the designer paper and the colors in this are blushing bride so we got some blushing bride here flirty flamingo the darker color and melon mambo sahara sand seaside spray which is this one okay this shows a little bit better and so saffron so the designer paper is just stunning. Look at that. Just look at that. Awesome. And um, this is called Pearlescent Specialty Paper. Uh, there are two sheets, 12 by 12. And this is the smaller, a smaller piece of it. It's pearlized on both sides. Um, but I'm going to show you something else 
that's from the annual catalog that I think you'll like that goes along with this. So those are, that's the product suite. The stamp set, by the way, is photopolymer. So you'll be able to see everything that you stamp, which makes it nice and easy. And um, I forgot to show you, this is one of the dies, the embossing folder that goes with this. And it's called Seashells. This is one of those where you need to say it three times fast and you'll probably don't get it. Uh, <laughs> Seashells 3D embossing folder. And the die that goes with it fits right over it so that not only can you have just the embossing folder, but then you can cut out parts of this, which I'll show you in a minute, that are just gorgeous. So this is also part of that. So I need these two to show you today. Okay, I welcome comments and thumbs up or hearts or laugh or whatever you want to do. So um, let's put those away. Um, just today, I got my own celebration brochure in the mail that I had sent to me. So they must be getting out in the area. So if you um, are one of my customers and you usually get mini catalogs from me, then they should be on their way soon. I think there's just that tie up in uh, the distribution center in Cleveland and then making it to Akron. And I've got customers over in um, the Warren area as well as um, down in the, the um, Mansfield Worcester area too. So, and Akron of course. So they are getting their, their way out. So let's see, first of all, before I make the project that I'm gonna show today, all the different things that you can do with this pearl eyes. If you don't have shimmer paint in your arsenal of cool products, and these are on page 147 in the annual catalog, you need to have them. Um, we've had these for a long time. Most of the time, I've used it with, um, this is just a, Bath and Body Works um, spritzer that I use because I can fill it with good alcohol. I'd say 70% and above is good. And then I add shimmer paint to this and then I shimmer my projects. But what I'm going to show you today is, is a little bit different with that product. Um, this has the shimmer white in it or the frost white. Um, so... I've done this with a couple, well, a variety of different papers. This is Whisper White that's been pearlized with the Shimmer White, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. This is shimmery white paper that we have. And just so you know that Whisper White paper is no longer available. And we are transitioning. It's actually available now. Information is on my blog. And there's oops, there's the information for that at patstamper.typepad.com on the product codes that are the new basic white. Um, I still have Whisper White, so I'm, I will be using that as long as I have some in my stash. Um, I will be getting some of the basic white fairly soon so that I can do a comparison and share that with you. But I think um, this, um, this will work. Um, let's see, what else do I have here before I show you the cards? Okay, this is Whisper White Pearlized, and I've got some with Very Vanilla. Um, so let you let me show you the projects that I've done, or just pieces of paper. Okay, this is the pearlized paper that comes in the, um, the product suite. 
okay? And it is pearlized on both sides. This is very vanilla that I have pearlized with the shimmer paint and cut out, embossed and cut out. And it's hard to tell the difference between the two, actually. They look almost identical. Um, this is Calypso Coral that I did the shimmer with and then embossed it, not cut out yet. I've just been a shimmering fool. This is Magenta Madness. I had a little piece of that. This is Bumblebee. Okay, these are Bumblebee and with a variety of embossing folders where I've pearlized the paper first, ran it through an embossing folder. This is a piece of Rococo Rose. Um, here we go. Hold on. Um, paper from the celebration. So here it is. And then I pearlized it and ran it through the paint, which is also a new embossing folder. Ran that through the embossing folder. Um, this is a free product during celebration and it's called ombre and it is oh so ombre with these different colors it's awesome paper okay so this was a card that i made the other day and embossed with this this is petal pink and the designer paper I used behind this was from the, or is from the Peony suite of products. And I put some of the opal gems on there and a little sentiment. The sentiments in this stamp set are pretty incredible too. So it's not only got wonderful stamps, but also some great sentiments. So that one. This is one that I did yesterday as a thank you. And this is Whisper White. You kind of have to look behind it to see what the actual color of the paper is. But that's Whisper White. And on this one, I did the Champagne Mist. So that was the first one I tried the Champagne Mist with. And this is paper from the suite of products on Sahara sand. So that's that one. Here's another one. Um, oh, this is the pearlized paper that I showed you before. So let's put those out of the way and get started on what we're going to do today. Okay, Seaside Spray is one of the colors in the suite of products. And that's what I'm going to use here first. And I apologize for the, the glare, but when I use the shimmer paint, I like to try it or like to do this on a, um, an, a window sheet. I've got transparencies, anything that is nice and smooth because if you don't do it on paper or do it on the grid sheet, if you tap it on there, your, your shimmer paint is just going to suck right into the paper. So this way you can spread it around a little bit more. Okay, I also want to tell you about this new product. These are our new blending brushes. And this is one that I'm going to use just for shimmer paint. Got it marked. There we go, see it right side up. And I did wash this out just a little bit ago. So it's still a little bit damp, but they they clean up so, so nice. They're just lovely. And um, I have used uh, at least one of them to do some blending. So they're blending brushes with color. Oh, I can't, can't tell you how much I love those. Because up until we got those in the catalog, I've been using 
ones that are supposed to be for makeup. And I love those too. Okay, let's get going here. Okay, shake this really well. And I'm going to just put, um, put some on the brush. Just put that right on there like that. You don't need too much. But you can always add more. And I like to start in the center and just start swirling it around. That way you can get your edges very quickly. And not waste too much. Okay, so that's it. That is all that is needed to make that pearlized. Now this is curled up a little bit because I've got it, it's wet. There's the other side and this is the pearl side. So I could heat this with the embossing gun on the low setting and dry it very quickly, but I do have one already ready to go. So that's it, that is it. As I said, I have been a, a, a shimmering fool here getting these made because I love them so much. All right, so, okay, so this one's done and dry. I only did it about an hour ago. And um, the first thing we need to do, let's get that out of the way and that brush, is bring up the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. Okay, and as you know, this is, it folds up for easy transport. And then you just open it up like this. So first of all, we need to emboss. And for that, I need plate one. These are labeled so that you've got all the information there. And plate four. And I use plate four because this is a 3D embossing folder. This is a full quarter sheet of cardstock. So I'm going to slip that in there. Uh, if you have one of the thinner embossing folders that we still have in the catalog, then you use plate one, a plate three, your sandwich with this in, and then another plate three. But this one's 3D, and it does show that here on plate one. So I'm going to put that in there like that. You want to go through first on the hinge side put that in there and just crank away okay now I need plate one again for the next step but look how gorgeous that is well, you will if I get it out of here. Just look at that. Alone, just alone, that would be gorgeous if um, I don't do the next step. But I'm sure you want to see that next step. So there's that. So for this, I need plate one. Plate two, which is for the, the thin embossing, or the, excuse me, the thin dies. A plate three, you always want to have a cutting mat on the bottom. And this die that just fits right over all of those shells that have been embossed. So it's very easy to line up. Fits right on there. Put another plate three on top. and crank that through. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, there's what you have. And then you just pop that off
pop out those little itty bitty pieces. And it's ready to assemble the card. Okay, I'll pop all those out in a little bit. Now, another thing that you can do is to cut these pieces apart and have individual elements to go on a card. So that's my next prog project, is to make a card with these individual elements, or you could put them on the inside of the card. So this just has so many options. I, I am almost amazed at who comes up with these ideas, but I'm glad they do. So this is what we've got here. And get all those little little bitty pieces out. So for this, I'm going to use a piece of Seaside Spray as the card base, a piece of designer paper from the designer pack. This is the one that's on the other side. So you could take this card and put some of these little elements on there. And a sentiment, let's see, let's, let's see what we got here. Uh, put some of that little seaweed behind there. And these little shells. And you've got another, another great card, okay? So those will not go to waste. So let's turn this over. I don't even know what this would look like on here. Nah, I like it on the other side better. All right, so let's take some Stampin' Seal Plus and adhere this down. Make sure I'm opening this the right way. I've done that before too where I make a card kind of upside down. And this is going to go on the front. All you need to do is add a lot of dimensionals. And you, you can either cut little strips of this because there will be a couple places where you want to add some mini dimensionals. Um, put the large ones where you can. Um, and see, I think I've got enough large ones there. And then the mini dimensionals are good in little places um, where there's like an intersection there where you've got enough space because you don't want to see it from the other side. Let's see, let's put one here. And one down here, and another one up here. Okay, all right, I can't see anything through on the other side. Pop those off, that's the hardest part. Put your thumbnail in the center if you have trouble getting those off, and that will help lift that release paper from coming up. Hey, Nancy, welcome, thank you. I'm sure you were doing something productive and that's why you're late, right? But that's okay. You can watch the replay too. That's right. <laughs> Never too many dimensionals, ever, ever, ever. And I think we've got two more to go. And yep, they're all shiny, so they're ready to go. And that's just going to go on here like this. Voila. Get rid of those. And oh, I don't know what I like the best, whether I like this one or the petal pink, 
for the the Sahara Sand. I'm just, I am over the moon in love with this suite. I'm just so excited. Okay. Um, we need to add some of these um, opal, they're called opal rounds. And I'm going to put those in the center, not in the center, but um, in some of these little hiding areas, I guess, where coral might be. And then I'll decorate the inside. Let's see, let's put one here. Um, well, those usually come off of that take a pick tool. Um, okay, I'm gonna add, whoops, I don't want that one there. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna cover it up with a sentiment and put that up there. Okay, that's up there. And this is a little tag. I just keep these punched out, a lot of these punched out all the time. So this is from the Stitch So Sweetly. And on the front of this, I'm going to stamp Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight goes really well with Seaside Spray. And that's one of the new, new this year, um, in colors. So here, yep, that fits, I thought it did. I'm gonna put friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. Okay, there we go with that. Put that on there in a minute. On the inside, let's see. Ah, here we go. I think this is cut to size. Yep. On the inside, I'm going to put um, also from the same. These are all sentiments from the same from the stamp set. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. So there we've got that. And might as well use one of these stickers pearlized stickers. Okay, there we go. I'd used a couple of these on another card, which I'll show you in a minute. There's that, and let's put one down here at the bottom. Then I could put one on the envelope. I didn't grab an envelope to use with this. So, um, but I always decorate the envelope. So let's add some adhesive. Oops. Hi, Carol. Thanks for joining. And so there's the inside. There's this and put this on the outside with more dimensionals, of course. So I already have a couple birthdays coming up and I'm just gonna put that right in the middle and then put another opal. I think those are just as easy to pick off with the finger. Uh, in the center of this, what's the name of that big shell? Conch shell, I think, I'm not sure. Okay, so there we go with that. And this was the other one that I did earlier with just a little bit uh, different uh, tag on the front and also with the same thing on the inside. So that is the project for today and I hope you like everything that you saw. Um, thanks LJ. These, oh, I love that shimmer. Do you use that stuff? I love shimmer paint. 
Love it, love it, love it. So thanks for stopping today. We're right at about 30 minutes, which is what I like to keep keep at. So here, these are the what I did earlier. So I've been on a roll and have more to finish. Maybe I'll cut this one apart. Um, so thanks for stopping and have a great week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next Monday with some more new creations. Bye-bye.